But I think for, you know, most investors as inflation gets, you know, more and more, you know, ridiculous, it forces the average everyday Joe, the, the, the normal person to be like, okay, you're either going to, you know, you're going to lose your money or you're going to slowly lose it. Or like, you just can't have savings anymore. So I think, I do think Bitcoin and crypto, um, still is like probably the best savings vehicle right for everybody here we've been saying this for the last few years so it's kind of crazy to see you know it still is extremely relevant extremely true so dollar cost averaging into crypto positions and cultivating crypto uh you know throughout the market those types of things are massively high value um things to do but i think the majority of people are are I think it's like the masses are starting to awaken because Wall Street finally said it's okay. You can come off the leash a little bit, right? right? And uh, start putting this into your four hundred one k. So I think that's going to be kind of like the narr- the biggest part of the narrative in twenty twenty four. But with all those things, then so like you said, having you know continued pause throughout the entirety of this year, um, inflation in terms of the CPI numbers, we have what uh, those coming out on the thirteenth of this month, and then for the end of the year i got it's i think the page is reloading i think it's there's one in december it's usually it probably be like uh either just before or just after uh the rate hike there in mid-december anyways so uh we i guess it'll depend on where inflation is at just in the next couple of weeks but generally speaking i wouldn't expect inflation to to go create out of you know go out of control or anything like that it's just kind of mm-hmm slowly maybe go sideways to a little bit up here to end the year so macro wise on that front with the fed and everything they're doing with inflation there doesn't seem like the benefits are only to crypto because people starting to realize that it it is a hedge against inflation and it's a flight to quality then um i guess the other stuff you have in macro still is you have you know what's the s p doing what's the nasdaq 100 doing what what's all these traditional assets doing and i think it was just today that uh <laughs> jim kramer had said tesla's you know going to lose the ford or some shit like that i'm like god damn it like okay wait 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 wait, 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 wait. back <laughs> that up what <laughs> Two again. there was a clip of jim kramer just talking shit about tesla cyber trucks and saying that you know uh ford has better trucks and and you know uh tesla sucks basically uh so you know what's gonna happen with tesla stock now <laughs> and <laughs> I'm fully you know, convinced. I'm fully convinced, Charlie. There's dude, no way, bro. No one bats. No one bats a negative thousand. Never a thousand. Like who does right? this shit? <laughs> right. Well, I'd have to pull up the tweet, but there was one literally uh, in a early to mid October. I think it was around October 11th or so. Um, Jim Cramer said, like, you know, Bitcoin sucks, and he said it like in passing, like during during one of his streams or, or one of his shows or whatever. And literally, like for five days, Bitcoin's price followed what he said. And then after that, like that was the low of the the current cycle low, which is absolutely hilarious down there at like twenty six thousand dollars. So I'm just saying, you know, again, you know, uh, yeah. 